anyone who is superficially familiar with ancient Egyptian civilization should by now be aware of a very curious quirk in the orientation of the Egyptian people who refer to southern Egypt as upper Egypt and northern Egypt as lower Egypt. How many people have ever thought about the implications of that dictum? What does one do with it? What we have done is what reason dictates, and that is to invert the map to its proper position, to correct for the fact that the most ancient, well-known civilization equated south with up and north with down. Thus, Asia is to the left of Egypt, not to the right. Europe is beneath Egypt, not above it. Jacob H. Crothers. The Mercator projection map, or the way we are taught the world is depicted, is a European social construct, a fact by agreement only which means it is a fact because people use it as a fact of reality instead of what it is, a belief about reality. This Western social construct is adopted and used by the rest of the world as if it were the only actual way of perceiving and displaying the world. The Mercator projection map is used by Africans and other non-Europeans and is seldom questioned regarding regarding its origin, accuracy, or appropriateness. An examination of the Mercator projection map from an African-centered perspective would demonstrate its shortcomings when used as a conceptual tool to teach the primacy of African culture. One problem is the Mercator projection distorts the African continent to make Europe and North America larger in appearance. Another is that it places North American and European continents at the top. When Europe and North America are placed at the top of the maps, they are placed in a superior position by making them primary to one's line of sight and thereby distorting the perception of the flow of human civilization from Africa to Asia and then to Europe. Not many people realize that the Mercator projection map symbolizes a shift in world historiography from an ancient African origin of civilization to a fabricated Greek European northern origin of civilization. We offer a solution to these problems with the Mercator map or any north of map orientation by presenting a newly oriented Resute south up map paradigm. This new Resute South Up Map Paradigm is, is based in part on the works of the late African Center scholar Saba Jacob H. Crothers. He was one of the first scholars to present the Meta Nature documentation for the Resut Up Oriented Perspective, which repositions the African continent in, a, in an inverted position at the top of the map rather than at the bottom. This new map orientation is an adaptation of an ancient orientation used by people of Kemet, one of the oldest civilizations in the world. We will demonstrate how the Resut South Up Map paradigm is a more appropriate tool for teaching the primacy of African culture. One of the major purposes of this orientation is its use as a concrete symbol to codify a primary African-centered concept. A concept once again first put into our consciousness by Saba Crothers in his book Intellectual Warfare. This book details how this paradigm shift in world historiography in the 17th and 18th century by the collective powers of Europe was accomplished. The understanding of this paradigm shift must become a common component of African historiography. This concept is best illustrated in the works by Jacob Crothers and Martin Bernal. Jacob Crothers in his book Intellectual Warfare introduces the old paradigm as, as the ancient traditions and the new paradigms as the new orthodoxy. Martin Bernal in his two volume work Black Athena details the two paradigms as the ancient model and the new modern paradigm as the Aryan model. In short, what these two scholars state 
is that a major change in world historiography was initiated in the 17th and 18th centuries by Europeans to justify the inhumane genocidal treatment of non-European people. One of the effects of this new paradigm was the creation of institutional racism, white supremacy, as a worldwide operating system. Once again, this paradigm shift in world historiography in the 17th and 18th century is a concept that must be codified as a part of African educational historiography. The Mercator map was not designed with any negative intentions on the part of Mercator, the designer, but with its Europe on top placement of the continents, it became the perfect symbol for Europeans who wanted to depict themselves as the world's guardian and savior. This aspect of Europeans' cultural personality is examined by Marimba Ani in chapter 4 of her excellent book, Urugu, an African-centered critique of European culture, thought, and behavior, in which she says, the arrogance and presumption in the European self-image in relation to the rest of the world are evidence in the expansionist expeditions they have undertaken. Rather, in the early or contemporary stages of their developing empire, Europeans at best have related with paternalism to the rest of the world. Curtin says, In that great age of imperialism, racism became dominant in European thought. Few believed that any lower races could actually reach the heights of Western achievements. Their salvation would be achieved in some other way. But meanwhile, they were entitled in their inferiority to the paternal protection of a Western power. The ideas of trusteeship gradually replaced that of conversion. The Rasut South Up Map Paradigm is a return to the non-biased ancient tradition or model as proposed by Saba Crothers. We must also stress that this is not the same as a South Up Map. That would simply be reversing how the African continents are placed on the map but still using an outdated, flawed, racist paradigm for interpreting world history. This Rasut South Up Map Paradigm represents a return to an ancient, traditional interpretation of world history. The Rasut South Up orientation is more in line with ancient historical documentation with places Africa, Egypt, and Ethiopia as the source of civilization. Saba Wade Noble's definition of power highlights the need for the development and use of African-centered paradigms to educate Africans in the diaspora. Nobles. Power is the ability to define reality and then have others respond to that definition as if it was their own.